friends and welcome to my channel. Today is a very exciting day for all of us participating in this collab and hopefully for my viewers as well. Today I am hosting a air fryer collab. We've had so many uh, viewers and subscribers ask us for more air fryer recipes and air fryer collab. And now that we've gotten through the holidays, this was a perfect time to just jump on board and host this collab. And many of you out there may have even gotten an air fryer for Christmas. So if you have, congratulations. It's very new and exciting. I hardly ever use mine. I dusted mine off today, literally got out the cleaner, got it out of the basement. So if you have an air fryer and you haven't been using it, go get it. I'll give you a few minutes. Go get your air fryer. Don't be afraid. Get it out. Today you're going to learn how to use it. We have about 13 or 14 participants in this collab. Their channel is going to be linked down below. Go visit each one. We've got back to basic recipes, appetizer, appetizer recipes, and full meal recipes. A little bit of something for everyone. So go get that air fryer. Get it out. Don't be afraid like me. Today we're going to learn how to use it and have some fun with it and realize all the things we can make with our air fryer that we're missing out on. Today, I'm gonna to be making an appetizer. We're going to be making fried pickles today. I will have the points and the calories down below in the description box. I gotta double check them still. Very low point, very low calorie. Um, this is a winner winner. So um, let's go over some of the ingredients that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some sandwich dill chips. So you're gonna need, you know, like the garlic dill chips. You're gonna need a little bit of flour. You're gonna need an egg. This is ranch dipping sauce, um, classic ranch yogurt sauce that you can dip in if you want. I don't have, I'm not gonna put, well it's 60 calories per serving, but you can dip it whatever you want. This is just an example. You're gonna need some breadcrumbs. I'm using Italian style. You're gonna need some garlic powder. And this recipe calls for bay seasoning. What do you call it? Old bay seasoning. And they did not have it at my grocery store yesterday. So I purchased some Lawry seasoning salt. I thought this would be you know, something similar, something tasty. And I have never tried Lowry seasoning salt. So this was a good time for me to try something I've never had. So Old Bay, whatever seasoning you have on hand, you don't have to go crazy. And we are going to make some fried pickles in the air fryer today. So I don't know if any of you ever go to the restaurant, um, what do you call it, Eva? Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. We always get their fried pickles as an appetizers appetizer and they have they must use some kind of cornmeal in theirs and it's just so good so we're going to try and make something very similar today i'm going to have the recipe and all the points and the calories down below so welcome if you're new here and if you've been here before welcome back i hope you are excited about this collab as much as i am and let's get started making some fried pickles all right, my dear daughter Ava helped me get everything set up for you so we can show you how we made a little dipping station, how we're gonna make these fabulous pickles that I cannot wait to try. The first thing we did is we took the jar pickles, we washed our hands really good, we put them on paper towel and we blotted them really, really good. We used several layers of uh, paper towel to blot out all the liquid on the top, on the bottom. You wanna make sure you get all of that out because I think it'll probably be soggy if you don't. So here is all of our pickles, all nice and dry. I've got a half cup of all-purpose flour in one bowl. I've got one egg, some Lowry's seasoning sauce, salt, but you're supposed to be using Old Bay, I'm using Lowry's, and some garlic powder with the egg mixed to make our little liquid dipping station. And then the final dipping station is the Italian style breadcrumbs. You can use plain, use whatever you like. I've got my handy dandy air fryer here. We've got our spray, so let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spray our tray. And I can tell you that I got this for Christmas last year and I think I've used it twice. My husband's used it more. I forget about it and I'm tired of forgetting about it. Let's do a good spray so nothing sticks. Okay, and this is just from Costco canola oil. So let's start. Got my hands clean, trying not to touch my hair. We've got pickle number one in the flour. You can see that. Then we're gonna dip it in the egg mixture and over to the breadcrumbs and get it nice. Oh, these just, I have a feeling these are gonna be so good. And if you're new here, I follow uh, calorie counting on Lose It app. I've done Weight Watchers for many, many years and I just needed to change, so I've switched over to calorie counting. And let's see, I lost 1.7 last week and then I got on the scale this morning and I lost two ounces this week. So I'm trying to lose some of the weight that I gained over COVID and the weight I wanted to lose before COVID. So that's what I'm working on. And my biggest 
hurdle right now is working from home, working at a desk. I'm a geriatric social worker if you're new here and I'm on the phone and computer all day, very sedentary lifestyle, not really self-motivated to exercise and that's been my biggest hurdle is that I did not adapt to COVID by increasing my exercise. So I blame myself for that. And that's what I'm trying to work on is trying to motivate myself to get moving because you know, when you're at home and you're not moving around a lot, even if you're eating pretty healthy, you still got to move because you'll just gain weight because you're not really, you know, burning anything off. We're going to do a few more on, and then I'm going to put a little music on and we can just kind of finish this up to music. Relax for a minute. Just dipping it. Hopefully you guys can see all this. The seasoning actually smells really good. I think it's going to be fantastic. Actually, let's do one more in slow motion here. And I got my hands nice and clean. So let me know down below, do you have an air fryer? Have you used it a lot? Are you afraid of it? Do you not know what to do? It's kind of like the Instant Pot. We all grew up with crock pots. We didn't all grow up with air fryers and Instant Pots, and so it's something new. Let me know if you think this collab is gonna help you. I not only did it for you guys to help you because we had so many people requesting it, but I did it for myself because I really, really need to have more experience with the air fryer. So I'm gonna keep on doing these rest of these pickles and then we're gonna go over to the air fryer and put it on and I'll show you what buttons to use on my model air fryer. I've got one tray ready to go. We're gonna put this up to 400 degrees and it's gonna preheat and then it'll count down. And we're gonna do eight minutes. And at four minute mark, we're gonna flip them. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna put this tray in. A lot of times I always do this wrong. Hopefully I get this right today. And I gave a little, well, not too much space in between. We'll see how that works out. Eight minutes, 400 degrees. I'm gonna turn it on. It'll preheat and count down. And at four minute mark, we're gonna flip. Oops, did it start? Uh-oh. See? Hold on one second, guys. See? It started for me. I told you I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's go back to 400. And eight minutes. Looks like it starts on its own. Oh, there we go. See you in four minutes. All right, this is the halfway point. I have already flipped them. They're nice and golden brown. And what I love about this is the batter is staying with the pickles. There's no huge mess all over the place. They are sticking, which is great because the worst is when you have breading fall off your stuff. So we're just gonna stick this in here, do another four minutes, and then we're gonna have nice fried pickles. Oh, all right, see you in a few minutes. Fried pickles are done. I cannot believe how easy this was. My youngest daughter, Ava, has been munching on them. She absolutely loves them. She gives the Boathouse Classic Ranch yogurt dressing a thumbs down. She wants her Hidden Valley, but hey, it's light for us Weight Watchers and us calorie counting people, but she didn't care for the ranch, but she loved the pickle. She's like, can I have another one? Can I have another one? I'm like, wait, let's finish the video. Don't, don't eat any more. So I put the second tray in and finished that. And I didn't even, I just tested it and I didn't even flip them halfway through and they were fine. They cooked on both sides. So I just did a little test. These are fantastic. I tried one of them. Maybe a little bit too salty with the Lowry seasoning, maybe a smidge, maybe lighten that up a little bit, but the pickles are salty as well. And you're supposed to use Old Bay, not Lowry seasoning salt. But the flavor is good. You don't need these to be fried. They are so good. All of the batter stuck to them. Hopefully you can see this. My mother-in-law bought me this little tray she got from a pottery craft store type of thing, handmade, and I love this and this is, absolutely perfect for that. And I've got points and calories for you. I figured it out on our break. 
there are 30 pickles, right? So there are uh, six, I'm sorry, five servings. There are six pickles per serving. You can have six of these on Weight Watchers, WW. For six pickles, it's one point on blue, one point on purple, two points on green. And if you're calorie counting, it's 170 calories for six. You could have an appetizer and have six of them. And these are rich and decadent for 107 calories, 107. How fabulous is this? I'm gonna be the fried pickle lady in my family. I've just decided. I used to be the deviled egg lady. I'm gonna be the fried pickle lady because I am going to make these again. This is something that you could get kids involved with, with doing the little, you know, putting them in the little dip stations. This is a low budget meal. I didn't even think about that till right now. Pickles, you could go to Aldi, grab some pickles. This is low budget, great way, good thing to have at a party, good thing to have like on a Friday night if you're playing games or something like that. Anything, anyway, they turned out great. They turned out better than I thought. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, my name is Danielle Nicole. I'm 45 years old. I have two children, two daughters. I've been married to my husband, Bill, for 18 years, full-time working mom as a geriatric social worker. And I'm just a busy mom trying to lose some weight that I gained when I hit in my 40s. And just come along with me. Every single Sunday, I have a little series called um, Sundays with Danielle. I always do some kind of easy, pretty budget-friendly, limited ingredient recipe that's healthy. So and if I have the Weight Watchers points, I always give it to you guys. And I definitely always give you the calories now because I'm calorie counting. So welcome to my channel if you're new. And all of you regulars, thank you so much for all your support all the time. I hope you're loving this collab. I cannot wait tomorrow to watch all of these videos and learn new recipes. And my family can't wait for me to finish filming this so they can dive into these fried pickles. So make sure you comment below, let me know you know what you, what's your favorite air fryer recipe how you're doing um give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe hit the bell so you're always notified when i upload new videos and you guys have a great day and don't forget to see my friends down below go check out each channel subscribe to all of them all of them you just have to go check out all my friends subscribe to them and have a beautiful sunday bye honey bunnies